Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of iJevin Plays Minecraft. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I know I'm doing so great. I hope you guys are all doing good. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Alright guys, so the first thing we're doing today is we're heading over to our, um, our dark oak forest area over there because I want to test something. I've uh, put efficiency 5 on my axe and I want to see if I can end the mine. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and talk. Um, <clears throat> or try to. So, uh, I had a couple questions, um, one being like, you know, Jevin, why don't you take a day off? Um, <clears throat> I'm like really, really committed to bringing this channel back. Um, so with that being said, there, there's no days off. I'll just, I'll work through the, whatever the problem is. I don't really mind. Um, next up, uh, don't forget guys, if you are enjoying these series or this series, don't forget to leave a like, because that like it, it is really kind of like almost a motivational tool. Um, in a way that uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, there we go. Because like the more the more that I see that you guys are liking it, the more that I want to record. So when like those news videos do so good, it makes me want to record more. So if you are enjoying, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, and if you also are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as always. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about, I had gotten a couple private messages about donations. Um, now typically I haven't really ever taken donations on the channel, um, but things are pretty tight right now. I'll be honest with you, like, um, Miss I. Jevin has been taking care of her father, so the, the money part of the things have, it's pretty much come to me. Uh, so I've been working hard. Um, but I, I still don't really feel all that comfortable taking donations on the channel, mainly just on Twitch because it's like a live thing. If you really want to help out the channel, um, the, the, probably the best way to do so would be through Patreon because that way you at least get a reward. Three, six, there we go. So, uh, I'm going to link my Patreon down below for any of those you want to help. And it's it's like a it's it's like a recurring thing. You can pledge a dollar, you can pledge $50. Anything anything is important, you know. Uh, so anybody who does that, thank you very much. And um, what else? There was something else I wanted to talk about too. Oh, holy crap, guys. We had 900 viewers in our live stream last night. Um, it has been quite a long time since we have had that many people. And, um, <clears throat> I had said on Twitter, I was just like, you know, thank you. And you're like, man, people are having so much fun around my content lately. Um, I just want to, I want, I want to, you know, a little bit of feedback. You know, how do you guys think I'm doing? Because I've been working hard, man. I've been making, I want to make sure that you guys have a good place to come to to watch videos. And so I'm trying my best. Hoping I hope I don't do you guys wrong. Um, haste two. There we go. So once again, like I said, I want to see... Okay, so it's not instant mine. But it's pretty fast. We're pretty much going to have to take down this whole forest, I think. Um, well, we don't need, uh, like, trap chests. But all we we just need wood for chests, you know. Um, and Dark Oak is pretty plentiful. So I think this will probably be what we do. Plus, this thing is pretty big, too, so lots and lots of wood here. Lots of good stuff to get. Um, but yeah, also, uh, before we move on, I just want to thank you guys for being so awesome. I think I had mentioned this yesterday in the video, but our views, um, if you like, if you know anything about YouTube, uh, like the views for December are pretty much the highest of the year. And our views right now in January are even higher, uh, which means your guys' viewership is better in January than it is in December. Which is pretty ridiculous. So thank you guys for being so amazing. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna dig on camera. Um, I'm gonna leave my beacon here though because I will probably come back and do a bunch of digging off camera. So, um, all right, let's go to move on. Okay, so one thing that we're gonna be working on a ton is this storage room because it's going to take a lot of work to get finished. Um, <clears throat> so I've been bringing material down here. I think I'm going to need to put all this away. There we go. Alright, so the first thing that I want to make is um, some comparators. <coughs> Excuse me if I cough. I'm like really trying my best not to. Grab three of these. We're, I'm just going to make 64, I think. If I can. <laughs> Isn't it like this? Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, there's a. Uh... There's 21. All right, so I was thinking about the design of this, and I think I want to change it a little bit. Um, it's kind of silly having all this open space in the middle. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to line everything up with the entrance right here. Something like this instead. So let's go ahead and build a little bit of this. Um, is that going to be... Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, so one thing that we're going to need a lot of is stairs. Um, stairs. There we go. <coughs> yeah, I need to uh, keep eating cough drops to talk, but it's worth it, so. Just like so. And then, so, the, here's the thing. Typically a chest would sit right here, right here, right here, you know, you know the deal. But, um, <clears throat> with that being said, we're going to change that, I think, because we need room on the edges to put other pieces of redstone down, so, um, probably be a little bit different, I think. I was looking at, uh, looking at these. Because hmm. I, I want the chest to line up, so... We go right there. That's not gonna be enough room. How do I do this one over here? I can't remember if I went like this. I think I did. Alright. So I think we're gonna start right here. Okay. So what that does is that gives us kind of a lineup point right there. Perfect. Okay. So the rest of this will just be, you know, whatever. Fill all that in or something. All right. So let's make a couple chests. Yeah. Right now, what we're doing is we're just kind of setting up, um, you know, how this is going to look, how it's going to run, uh, making sure that everything is just going to work. So... I'm like, why is that not working? There we go. Let me get rid of this. Hopefully that'll be enough room. Man, that's going to be awful close. So, three over from the wall. And that, de that depends on if we decide <coughs> that we want to put chests in the front or not. They would sit right here. I don't know if that's going to be enough room. Alright, let's see if that's going to work or not. Man, that's going to be super close. Okay, so first off, we got to make some hoppers. Um, wait, is that all the... Wow, we want to do that wood super fast. I hope I brought enough, um, enough iron. I didn't really bring a lot. We've got more up there if I need to get more... Yeah, I want to build on, I want to build like a full on scale of this just to be sure, so. Don't want to skip anything and be like, oh, well this goes here. No, I don't want to do any of that. I want to build it. <coughs> My throat is so itchy. Okay. <coughs> I apologize for coughing. Okay. So let's make some hoppers. Hopefully nine will be enough to get us started. So we need this to be um, probably up in the ceiling, like one block up there. Because we're going to need, um, need it to be able, because we're going to need to come over here, over here, we got to be able to move. So it's got to be high enough to where the hoppers can come in. Okay, so for this example, we'll just do a curve. There we go. Should be more than enough room. All right, so... Um, 
we set this up like this before. That's all we really need to do. We're definitely going to need more hoppers. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's make some more. I was like, oh yeah, that'll be enough. Not even close. You see, are you guys starting to get sort of the sheer understanding of uh, this project now? Each one, each two chests takes this many, that much iron. That's why I was like so super focused on making iron farm right away. Um, I don't think that's going to work. No. Alright, so we need to make a decision. Are we going to put chests in the front? And if we're going to put chests in the front, that's going to need to be over more blocks. I honestly don't think we're going to need it. I don't even think we ever even accounted for it. And if we do, we can always just put them up here instead of inside. I had an idea for the inside anyways. I'm thinking about maybe using a glass, sort of like how we did at the iron farm. So, I think we'll probably leave the front open then. Alright, let's go ahead and build the rest of this. So, that layout. And... This will be our main item tunnel. And let's see, I need to go up. There we go. Alright, so from there, hope I don't have to take any more out of this. Um, oh, we're missing a hopper. Oh, why did I do that for? Her! Just messing everything up. Okay, perfect. So we can pretty much put the lock anywhere we need to. Thinking probably right there. Let's see if that'll work or not. The lock part is probably the easiest. We're going to be doing this a lot. <laughs> so... Okay. What we might do is we might just do it in balk. But this is uh this has sort of been a dream of mine to build one of these for a long time, so Okay. Need some redstone. Good deal. there um, all right let's see and one thing I'm gonna I'm gonna give ethos some credit here I saw that he renamed blocks that is a genius idea for the filter um, like wherever we put the decide to put the items in that is so smart because it takes the time it solves the time the problem of like trying to find a block to put in there when you can just rename some cobblestone. It's really smart, actually. Good kudos to him. Okay, so this needs to be up one block then. So as you can see, um, that will not activate that hopper. Wow, we're going to have to move the ceiling up a block, I think. Well, maybe not, actually. Let's fix this real fast. This is why we're doing this, so we know the final locations of everything, what it's going to take to do this. So if the ceiling is technically in place, um, right there, comparator, That should send a redstone signal through that. Okay. 
I think that'll work. Maybe. Oh, I put that way too close. So there, up. Yeah, I think we're going to have to take out the ceiling some. <clears throat> I didn't realize it was going to be so high up. Um, yeah, so we'll have to take out a couple blocks. That won't be too bad. Won't be too bad. I can't talk. There, there. There, there. So that's pretty high up for a final location for that. There, there. There. Now that should work. Perfect. <coughs> um, so that should freeze all the hoppers and it should compare to this one. So, um, We'll need, what was it? It's like one, wait, where is it stopping? Okay, so the filter goes below it, really? That doesn't make any sense, because it's comparing to this one. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Hold on, hold on. Issue. There we go. Much better. <laughs> um, so we need to like 22. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 21, 22. Okay, that should have handled it all. It's weird that there's items there. All right, let's test this. See how long it's going to take. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I did put like 40 pieces in there though. All right, so 38 there, one there. Hopper's still good. Okay, that seems like it'll work just fine. All right, so we're gonna have to repeat this setup, um, which means we should, we should probably take two more blocks out of the ceiling, um, like 400 times or something like that. <laughs> way too much, way too much essentially. But in the long run, it'll be worth it because we'll have completely automatic storage. So uh, now that we know what we've got to do, it's just a matter of getting it done, pretty much. So, what we would do next is we would just come here, build a wall. Um, I'm not sure that I want to uh, use stone brick throughout, though. We might use a different color. Um, and then there would be, you know, another set of chests here. So on, like that, and then we would just do the same thing over and over and over again. Wow, that thing is going to be massive. So, but one thing we do know though is we know this will be easy. Uh, placing the hoppers won't be too bad. Placing the chests won't be too bad. Um, it's just a lot of work, but I think we can get it done. Right guys, so I am back. So I've been trying to work out some sort of design that I like. Because I just don't want to do all stone brick. That's like way too much. So I've been thinking about maybe something like this. Um, I really like the different textures of gray. You also need to think that we're going to have item frames on top of each one of the chests. Or on the front of it. Letting us know what's what. So I don't see about maybe doing something like this as well. Okay... 
be something like that. I'm not sure if I like that or not, though. Actually, I don't really like that. Let me get in there. So, like I said, I've just started kind of planning out this whole massive structure. Uh, I still have the... Ooh, hello. I should probably fill that in. Um, you know, just trying to get things sort of laid out the way I want. Um, obviously, the ceiling itself is going to be... Um, Oh, I'm like, what is that? The uh, ceiling itself is going to be slabs because that's what our design to the whole building is going to be. And then the floors are going to be birch, but I don't have any birch left over. Um, kill the creeper. There we go. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be gonna be this up here and then it's going to be you know the, that down below um, <clears throat> so I think it's gonna look good I might throw a couple extra things in there for here because there's gonna be so much of it I just don't want it to like like really kind of overlap each other so let me know what you think about that as well hey guys that's going to do it for today's video we actually got a lot of planning done it may not seem like it but in the long run we actually got a lot done today, which is good because we needed to figure out those little details. Uh, so don't forget about the things we talked about. Um, if you want to help out the channel, uh, Patreon is the, probably the best way to do it. Um, if you enjoyed and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to get a world download, 500 likes is what you need to beat. So I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. This is my channel.